In this video, we're going to take a look at Zeal's Lab 3.2 CM. Zeal's Lab 3.2 CM is a compact version of their Zeal's Lab 4 synth, and is an emulation of the classic VCS3 modular synth. The synth components are spread across two panels, with the main sound generation aspects on the left, and module connections are made using the two plug boards. If you load up the init2 oscillator program from the browser at the top, and then remove all the plugs, you'll see the synth makes no sound. On the matrix, module outputs are the horizontal rows, and inputs are the vertical columns. Try connecting the oscillator1 sine wave output to output1 and use the two-part oscillator knob to set the core pitch. This results in a constant tone to the output. To control the pitch of this tone, we need to connect a keyboard to it, and we do this on the advanced matrix. Make the connection keyboard 1 to oscillator frequency 1. Now the constant tone will change as you play notes on the keyboard. To shape the sound, we need a filter and envelope. Remove the initial oscillator 1 to output 1 connection, and instead connect oscillator 1 to the filter column. Now connect the output of the filter to the envelope input column, and the envelope signal to out 1 and 2 columns. Set the envelope to shape mode, and adjust the filter and envelope to taste. Finally, we can augment this very simple pathway by making the output level respond to velocity. Looking at the advanced matrix, connect the velocity output row to out level 1 and 2 columns. Zill's Lab 3.2 CM includes over 50 presets, and these are great as a starting point to explore its various features. From the pad folder, we've loaded up the preset EtherChurch. Much like the original hardware, Zill's 3.2 CM includes an XY joystick. This is a patchable module, and the patch points are at the bottom of the main matrix. Here we've patched the horizontal axis to the filter and vertical axis to oscillator 1 and 2 frequency. The joystick also includes independent range parameters. These offer a lot of control, and both include a zero setting, where as you would expect, they don't affect the target parameter at all. Here we've set the vertical setting quite high, so we can create some extreme pitch effects. 